Hey there. So there's a cockeyed post-it note stuck to the bottom of my windowsill, just above my desk. If I look up from my keyboard just a little to the right, I might see it. But so often when things are there for a while, we simply stop noticing them. There's nothing about this post-it note that demands attention. There are no bright colors or bold affirmations. In fact, it's hastily scrawled ink on an almost all-white post-it note, except for the ICF logo on the bottom left. It wasn't artfully or even deliberately placed, and today I noticed that after a multitude of months of clinging to my sill, (laughs) its right corner is peeling away slightly maybe relenting to the strong wind that is blowing outside my window today. I don't remember when I stuck it up, but for whatever reason, it drew my attention this morning as I sat down to write. At any given time, I have a number of ideas half-started or earmarked to write about, and it was my intention to develop one of those in this writing session until, for whatever reason, my cockeyed post-it note caught my eye. Simply printed in lowercase letters. Remember, I said there was nothing about it that wanted or needed my attention. It was simply there. Just like all the abundance in the world that is available to us, but goes unnoticed because we overlook it in our race to live our lives. So the post it note, it was just there. The four lowercase letters placed vertically on the note read, I, D, E, A. Idea. An acronym for which I wrote the corresponding words. Invite. Develop. Embody. Allow. Idea. It's a kind of creative system based on two of my values, which were written below the acronym in all caps. Learn grow. When I connect to my values of learning and growing, I create a safe space for my ideas to flourish. With these guiding principles, the concept of failing slips away because our greatest learning, my greatest learning comes through not knowing everything. And our greatest growth, my greatest growth emanates from that learning. I'm in the final stages of releasing my debut book, which has my mind racing and has been occupying a lot of space in my head. The limiting beliefs of what I'm supposed to do now and, you know, what what will happen when it comes out, if I want a successful launch. These thoughts and feelings and limiting beliefs are threatening to pull me away from my why. But this morning... My little cockeyed post-it note that I noticed again for the first time in a long while, it magically transports me back to the essence of why I wrote it, why I wrote this book, and reminds me to stay connected to how important it is to me to learn and grow. I breathe more easily as I guide my book project through my four-letter acronym, my personal creative system, and repeat it as a kind of mantra. I, D, E, A. Invite, develop, embody, allow. I, D, E, A. Invite, develop, embody, allow, idea. I invited the idea in and developed it. It embodies my message wholeheartedly, and now I will allow it to have a life of its own and go where the universe calls. Invite, develop, embody, allow. 
What are you inviting into your life today? What would you like to develop? How might you embody that? And allow, allow it to be in the world, your own idea, your own creative system. I leave you with the words of Elizabeth Gilbert from her wonderful book, Big Magic, Creative Living Beyond Fear. She says, Trust in miraculous truth that new and marvelous ideas are looking for human collaborators every single day. I am so grateful for my little cockeyed post-it note for inviting me in to collaborate today and create this for you and to remind me and in turn remind you that as long as we are connected to our values as our guiding principles, we are exactly where we are supposed to be. I'm Lisa Hopkins. Thanks so much for listening. Stay safe and healthy, everyone. And remember to live in the moment.